Hey guys, what is going on? Super short video for right now. If you guys don't know, Ironsight finally released a performance update on April 1st. And actually, I'm just showing you guys the before and after difference. As you can see, you can see the menu of the game. Uh, before, it's just kind of like a normal menu. Like you've always seen, you know, everything's there. Uh, your brightness, your settings. You don't even know what levels your brightness settings are at. But I'm going to go ahead and walk around Cruise for you if I chose Cruise. Because it's kind of like the most played map that I've played so far in like iron sight the last couple weeks i've been playing so i chose that one as you can see in the top left corner again i'm running a gtx 1080 and an i7 8700k i'm getting around 200 50 260 uh fps you know just walking outside and this isn't a private match by the way so you know normal in-game performance with other people is going to be you know definitely less so um you know but 250 260 type of thing you know walking outside just li literally staring at the middle of the map every time i stare at the middle of the map i get lower frames if i go inside i get super high frames um but then you're gonna also notice here um i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the brand new patch that they that they have uh coming out um literally around the time this video goes out if you guys don't know i have uh, access to the iron side test servers um so i'm able to test these things out and uh yeah just walking around doing the exact same thing on cruise um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the menu first um so if the menu on the new iron site uh, server thing you know if you go to your video you're actually going to see that the main menu just shifted over to the left and on the right side here you have this thing called thread rendering now what that does is it basically enables multi-thread rendering which this game definitely needed uh you're going to want to go ahead and turn it on because it's going to it's going to be off by default uh so go ahead and turn it on if you have more than one like you know core on your uh cpu and that's going to help out a ton for us to have like you know super super good computers super decent computers um you know even the mid range is going to help out a ton and even the, the low range if you have a decent cpu and not a good graphics card then you're going to go ahead and feel some performance difference now we go to go ahead and go into cruise here on the brand new performance update you're going to go ahead and look that i literally just walk around and i don't lose any frames whatsoever i'm literally staying at 300 frames sometimes i go over that but i'm literally staying exactly at 300 frames which is the maximum of my fps limit is at so it's just like this performance upgrade is insane like i'm personally seeing an upgrade of like from 50 to like 40 fps like and that's on the minimums you know again this is just walking around cruise kind of with nobody there just on the test servers but if you might put people in that like cut that in half even if that because then I, i'm cutting it in half usually on like the, the normal servers right now but that's because you know multi-thread rendering isn't on so i think the performance boost is going to be insane um and it's going to help out a lot especially if you have a high refresh monitor and things like that and even with again the mid-tier to lower end systems it's going to help out a ton um you know a lot of people that like from the supporters have been saying that they've been getting some pretty insane boosts you know so mine is actually pretty nuts again this is just me solo testing it out but it looks like it's going to be pretty awesome the last thing uh that we just need for the game to thrive is that netcode update which i'm pretty sure they're still working on but yeah guys that's about it super short video for today i uh, just wanted to let you guys know and i'll see you next time peace out